Hello and welcome to this CDP Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to build OpenCV for CDP Studio. OpenCV is a large open source computer vision and machine learning library. We will build the OpenCV library into static library files that can easily be imported into CDP Studio. To do this we are going to use CMake to generate make files. We will then use a build kit provided by CDP Studio to build the project. In order to make and build the files we are going to need CMake. You can get CMake by downloading it from their website. We are also going to need the OpenCV source files. You can download these through their website or through SourceForge. The version we are going to use is 3.1.0. Links for these will be provided in the description of this video. The OpenCV library can have its functionality expanded by including NVIDIA CUDA support and other third-party libraries. To get these, you need to refer to the tutorial on OpenCV's websites. We will only be building OpenCV with its core functionality. In this tutorial, we will build using the Windows toolkit that CDP provides. This is a MinGW32 toolkit. It is located in CDP's installation folder under Kits. Next, we are going to use CMakeGUI in order to generate our make files. First, we open CMakeGUI. Then, we select our source folder and then the output folder. Then we click configure. This will bring up a dialog asking you to select the generator for the make files. We will select specify native compilers, then click next. Now we will navigate to the toolkits provided by CDP Studio. They are under CDP Studio, then kits. We are going to build for Windows, so we will select the Win32 kit. Enter toolchain, then bin. Now we select the i686 MinGW32GCC executable. For the C compiler, we select the G++ one. Clicking next will cause CMake to test the compilers and locate the rest of the files. When CMake is done testing and setting up, we will get a lot of configuration options available to us. I recommend ticking grouped. This will make it easier to sort through. Before we start configuring, we will click configure. This will allow CMake to cache the configuration. We will start by configuring the build options. We will be building to static libraries, so therefore we untick shared libs. For the purpose of this tutorial, we won't need the entire OpenCV library. Therefore, we'll go through the build options and untick all except the OpenCV core. We'll then adjust the CMake options. Because we are running on Windows, we need both a debug build and a release build. We will make the debug one first. First, we find the CMake underscore build underscore type. Then we set it to debug. We will now click on configure one last time. Now we are ready to generate the files. Click generate. We have now generated the make files. We now need to build the files using MinGW's make executable. First we enter the folder where we outputted our make files. Then we hold shift and right click to open a command window. We then locate the MinGW32's make executable. This will be located inside the toolkit's bin folder. We are going to run it with install as the argument. This will output the library files to the install folder. When we click enter, the library will start building. This can take some time, so we will fast forward it. When we are done building, we can repeat the process for the released version. The difference this time is that we set CMake underscore build underscore type to release. We will fast forward this section as well, as this is the exact same procedure as the last one. Now that the files have been successfully generated, we can retrieve the files from the install folder. The header files are going to be under include, while the library files are located under x86. The debug versions will have d as a suffix. This was all for this tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.